I'm not sure how well you could see that. But there's a caterpillar in there. And there's another one over here doing the same thing to the leaf where they curl the leaf over and they like hide in there. I don't know if, is that them like, oh here's another one. There's three different caterpillars here hidden underneath a curled up leaf. Is that, oh there's another one. There's no, oh my gosh, there's like six. They're everywhere. Oh, there's a ton of them. Okay, so that means there's gonna be a bunch of butterflies, right? Is this bad though? Like, are they gonna damage the plant? There's, there's so many. I'm probably gonna pick that cucumber right here in a second after I pick the okra. Um, a hurricane just came into the Gulf and we're, we already have clouds from it. It's definitely most probably gonna rain tomorrow and Thursday, like a lot. So today I wanna get a lot done. Like I need to cut the grass, definitely. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It could rain today, but I think it's supposed to hold off until like later today. So I want to be able to cut the grass because if I don't, then I'm not gonna to get to cut it on till like Friday or Saturday, and by that point in time, it'll be way, way too long because of the rain. So I wanna do that. I need to flip the compost. Um, I need to do something with that bamboo because I didn't do it yesterday. And I would also like to get more things planted, cabbage and stuff, because I didn't do that yesterday either. So, um, but, so but it's good news that we're gonna have a lot of rain. That's good, I'm glad that we're gonna have a lot of rain, but it's gonna be like hurricane storm rain. Not the actual hurricane, where I'm like way north of the coast, but it'll still be, you know, good storms. Lots of wind, lots of rain, which will be good for the garden as long as these things don't get blown over in the wind. Uh, but I do have a lot to do today before that happens. But I'm probably gonna pick this cucumber because if I don't pick it now, I might not get to pick it until like Friday, and it'll be huge by then. All right, so a nice cucumber, the first Chicago pickling cucumber that did have a worm in it yesterday, but I pulled the worm out. I had a fight with a worm and I won, and I just picked three okras as well. Definitely gonna have this cucumber for lunch. I look forward to tasting this Chicago pickling cucumber. Probably pick them even smaller than this. This is like a, this actually looks like a pretty good size. Like if you were gonna pickle this, um, you know, it'd be like a large, large-ish pickle. The thermometer in the uh, compost number two was actually just reading 150. But it was over 160 yesterday and I didn't move it. So that means maybe, I mean, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I mean, maybe it just, it reached its peak and now it's cooling down a little bit. But I'm sure after I turn it today, it'll probably get back up to 160, maybe, probably. Okay, that was pretty easy, especially since it's not very sunny out here. It's actually like 78 degrees right now, instead of 85 or 90 per normal. And, wait, per normal, per usual. And it actually only took 60 scoops from the pitchfork, which, as you can see, um, the material has really compressed down and um, decomposed where it used to be when I first put it in, it was all the way up to here-ish. And now it's, I mean, what is that? That's several inches. It's like six inches or so. 
that it's gone down, uh, which is what it's supposed to do. And just let that keep cooking. I already used summer compost heap number one, so I hope it's ready, even though it's still around 100 degrees in the center. Um, okay, now if the grass is dry, which hasn't been very sunny, so the grass, the morning dew might not be completely dry, but I'm going to try to cut the grass. I got to move that bamboo first, though. I think I finished that just in time. Well, I don't know if it's actually gonna really start raining, but a cold breeze just blew in and it's like barely sprinkling right now. So I feel really good though that I got done cutting the grass because it was not gonna be fun if I didn't get it done and then it rained really hard. I did a, I did a little research and the caterpillars on the leaves of the bean plants are aptly named leaf roller caterpillars. Um, what they do is pretty neat. I mean, they they roll up the leaves around themselves to protect themselves from predators, and then they just feed on the fibers in the leaf, which is cool and all. And uh, supposedly in small numbers, they don't do too much damage. Um, they turn into a moth, a, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a, a highly camouflaged moth and um, so I'm not I mean I'm not too concerned about them however I am gonna try to remove the leaves that they're on before it gets out of control and they turn into moths and then those moths reproduce and then there's just like caterpillars everywhere so I'm just gonna use scissors and cut either cut the parts of the leaves off that they're in or just cut the whole leaf off depending on how much of the leaf is rolled up, I guess. But let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That might be eight, nine. So at least eight, maybe nine that I just can spot right here. 10. I see another one. So there's quite a few. Um, so I just don't want to, I just don't want to risk, you know, them all turning into the moth and then the moths reproducing and then there's just being, you know, them multiplying in numbers really quickly. So I'm just going to get rid of them. So, as you can see, I've unrolled some of the leaves so you can see the caterpillars inside them, but in all there was like 13, I think. So even more than I originally thought. Oh wait, I forgot, there's one over here on one of the cucumber leaves too. I gotta get that one. I saw him earlier. Actually, this is not the same leaf roller caterpillar. It's a different species of leaf roller, obviously, but this is actually the one that's getting inside of the cucumbers. So I need to find all of these guys and get rid of them before they get in my cucumbers. 
So those are caterpillars. It's another species of leaf roller caterpillar and they burrow and dig into the cucumbers and start eating the cucumbers from the inside. So I definitely want to get rid of them. I have never in my life seen a bug like that, except the other day I saw that same one here. It's got to be some type of assassin bug. It doesn't even come up in my little, my app that I have that I can input pictures of insects and it's supposed to tell me what they are. It doesn't even show up. But it's got to be, it's got, that has to be some type of assassin bug. Like what else could that be? All right, I'm just putting these, these caterpillars into soapy water because that's supposed to suffocate them or something. I'm not really sure exactly what it does actually. Um, it's just what I read to do. I mean, I'm sure you could just like smush them, I guess. And then I'll just pour this out in a bit. I now have bamboo and um, the pile of the little leaves and limbs and stuff. Um, I mean, I'm definitely going to want to compost it. I think it's going to have to be broken up into little small pieces. I'll try to put it through the chipper shredder, but I don't think it's going to do super well because they're just like twigs and the chipper shredder doesn't do twigs very well. Um, it does much, does thicker woody stuff much better. But I'll try, see what I can do, and if not, I'll have to break it up some other way or something, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, this, uh, these bamboo sticks, man, they're super versatile. I can, I don't know, I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna use them for yet, but all sorts of things I think that they'll be coming handy for. Okay, same deal as yesterday. I have um, containers. Uh, I'm actually planning to do way more than this, but I actually just wanna order some trays and then the little device that like makes soil blocks because everybody uses those and I've been wondering why and it's because I'm pretty sure that it just makes it way easier so I'm just going to order those and get those in so it'll make this whole process easier but I'm going to go ahead and do these with cabbage and I have my compost here that I'm going to mix with the potting soil just like last time and some of the uh, perlite That's a lot of perlite. I actually don't think it's gonna hurt anything though. It actually might help these seeds start, the seeds uh, germinate. Water it real good. And you think it's all wet, but then it's not underneath. I'm gonna mix this up more. gonna do the same thing like I did yesterday and just 
I'm trying to only do like three seeds. So I really only want these to be one cabbage plant in each one of these. Okay, so I have two different cabbage plants that I'm gonna plant right now. So let me separate them out. Now this half I'll do golden acre cabbage and this half I'll do the mammoth red mammoth Mammoth Red Rock, that's what it's called. So these are the Golden Acre cabbage seeds. I'm just putting, I'm actually just doing two in each one. Two seeds right in the center of each one. Okay. Now, just put a layer of our potting soil on top. that down just a tad. All right, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do today. I gotta go get this cut that has the caterpillars in it and toss them out. But I'm not definitely not gonna water anything tonight because, because it is, um, the storm is coming, so it's probably gonna rain a whole lot tonight, and then tomorrow and Thursday, so. Um, yeah, so no need to water tonight, so that's it. Toss these caterpillars out, and then I'm done for today. <laughs>